Good evening, everybody. The high school girls golf season kicked into full swing today as top teams gathered at Meadowbrook for the Raider Cobbler invite. It was a chance for players to see how they stack up in the early going. Andrew Lynn takes a closer look. On Monday morning, girls from eight area teams teed off at the Meadowbrook golf course as a part of the Raider Cobbler invite. Right off the hole six green, Rapid City Stevens Jr. Lauren Knapp positions this ball right in front of the cup and in a great spot. She would later tap it in for par. To hole eight, on the fringe, it's Peyton Peterson of O'Gorman. 10 feet back, she had quite the time getting to the spot, but when she did, she delivered. Peterson lines up the putter and drops it in for par as well. Staying on the front nine, this is St. Thomas Moore's Caitlin Strand with her approach shot. One of her best of the day, dribbles it up the green behind the pin. It would take her a couple putts to get it to fall, but she stays even on the hole. To the right of her on nine, we head back to Lauren Knapp of Stevens. Another well hit ball, this one just a little bit short still on the green, the junior would make par. Around the bend we go. On the back nine, Knapp drives her tee shot far right, but corrects it on the next shot. From the other side of the cart path, the Raider plays the ball off the hill. She would tap it in for par two. STM's Caitlin Strand won the group at five over. Knapp in second at nine over, and O'Gorman's Peterson at plus 13. Uh, I think that um, trying to teach them some patience. Uh, I think golf has to have a little patience. We shouldn't just, uh, you know, find our ball and get up to it and, and hit it as fast as we can. However, you know, um, the pace of play needs to keep up for them, and that's a big thing issue. But I, I think, again, but as you're walking to your ball, every time you get ready to prepare a shot is, is trying to just have that visualization. As of right now, we haven't had too many. We've only been outside a handful of times this year so far. Um, I'd say this is our second round we played, but we've been outside maybe five times for practice. Uh, it's just been a tough spring so far, so I've just told our girls go out, compete, have some fun, and we really aren't going to worry about the scores right now. It's nice to have a little bit more meaningful of a practice inside. You know, we, we've always kind of been able to chip, chip and putt, you know, uh, hit into a net here and there, but the, the kids are really opening up a bit more to an indoor practice now that we have that simulator. Good golf on display today out at the uh, Raider Cobbler invite. And they were able to get things in, Jack, before the weather came, so good on them. Now to say you got some South Dakota Mines football news tonight. And we do have some hard rocker football news to tell you about. They're going through spring practice right now. The annual spring game is on Saturday. We heard from them last week going through spring practice, and the hard rockers have a new offensive coordinator. Ryan Freeman is a new OC and wide receivers coach at South Dakota Mines. He has 10 years of college coaching experience. The last two years, he's been at the Division I level as an offense research analyst at the University of Memphis. It's almost it's time for some indoor football as well. That's right. Rapid City Marshals kick things off this week. A preseason game coming up on Saturday. The regular season starts the following week, and you can catch a lot of the Marshals games over on BTV. If you go to our website, CodaTV.com, you can check out the list of Marshals games that we'll have. Going to be going to be bringing you a lot of Marshals games over on BTV. All right, good deal. Thank you, Vic. Come